Okay, it's feeding time, Dr. Hans Brewery. Come here, boy. I got my hands on some Chinese yeast, a few different varieties. First out, the lager yeast, BF16. This yeast costs only a fraction of like the normal varieties we use. So let's try it out. Let's do a grain to glass with you and try the BF16 out. And as you saw in the beginning, I also have some epic deer footage for you. The Swedish wildlife, yes. And BF16, what BF stands for, but everyone knows what BF stands for. So for me to uh, swear in the beginning of the video would be just f stupid. <sighs> oh. Yeah, let's just get started. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So if you want to learn with me how to come better at beer and brewing, yeah, consider joining the madness by subscribing and of course hit that little bell so you don't miss any killer content going into 2021 and help out by smashing that like button. So let's run through the brew footage while I pour a beer and we come back and run through the recipe. The recipe is of course ordered up on my Patreon site in the big Dr. Hans recipe book. But enough talking, let's get brewing. <laughs> Okay, so I must have the most spoiled deers in the whole wild world, don't I? Let's pour a beer. And someone asked me about the, the pressure I have here. I don't have any pressure at all, actually. This is, this was pressurized by pressurized fermentation. We can talk a little bit about that also. Pressurized fermentation. It's a hot topic, of course. Epic pour, but this is a, a thin line, uh, might be one and a half to two meters, something like that. We have a beautiful looking beer, you can see it's really clear. This has been conditioning for like two weeks. This fermented out in about five days, fermented under pressure. Uh, we're going to run through the recipe and all the numbers, but we have a two finger tight, beautiful looking head and a good level of carbonation, much lighter and as you can see it's, it's very clear. 
I haven't used any findings in this except in the boil where I use some protaflock and protaflock is like worflock. Protaflock is like refined Irish moss. Yeah, it, now someone gonna ask me what Irish moss is. Yes. Let's give it a nose. I aimed for like a Pilsner Lagerish beer. So we have a like grainy sweetness, like a light citrusy note, super clean. Okay, cheers, let's dive in. Definitely get like the lagerish vibe. This is a low ester yeast. So it's, it's super clean, but it still have some sort of like estery flavored. I made a split batch also. Could compare this in another video with the W3470. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, of that yeast, but it's not as estery. And yeah, that's a, it's a quite clean yeast also, of course, but it has a special flavor, like the lager flavor, if you understand what I'm saying, but no like sulfur or anything like that. No acetaldehyde or diacetyl. But this was fermented quite hot, fermented under pressure. Started this at 20 C at 35 PSI, ended it at about 25. I made this calculator, which you can check out, link down below to, to that video, which is like the ultimate calculator, which you can use for both forced carving and pressurized fermentation. So go and check that out. Not very hop forward, but still nice level of, of bitterness, like a, like a pilsner. Grainy notes and uh, some like light citrusy, not like spicy notes, and uh, just a clean lagerish fermentation. Let's run through the recipe. In the Dr. Hans recipe book, this is called Slatten Lager BF16. And Slatten would translate into uh, like leftovers, oh, drags, drags, yes. Because, uh, yeah, I'm almost running out of, uh, no, I'm not, but yeah, bits and pieces. This is for like a 62 liter recipe. I was aiming for a lower ABV beer, so this turned out 4.2%. I used, I'm gonna give you this in kilo and also in percentage. I used 9.3 kilos of Pilsner malt, that's about 85%. I used one kilo and that was Room of Sweden Pilsner malt. I used one kilo of, cast, that's empty now, Castle malting like Munich. 10% of that and uh, some wheat malt, uh, about 6.5% from, wait for it, Varbokvarn. So two Swedish and one, is it Belgium? This was a no-shill beer. I have a video about no-shill, uh, how I count the hops. I will link to that down below also. But I just basically add 20 minutes boil time to each addition. I used at flame out, but in the recipe they are counted as 20 minutes boil. I flame out and did a whirlpool to collect them in the, the center. 75 grams of Hallertau Mittelfru, which according to, to this calculation would give us 8.5 IBUs. I used 24 grams of pearly hops, uh, which should give us 4.7 IBUs. And I used 67 grams of sapphire hops, which should give us 7.8. And now comes the big one. I also found a bag, which I don't have a clue what hops it was, but it was with some of the other ones. I vacuum packed them together, so I thought I must be okay. But I didn't know what to enter for numbers, but this is home brewing and you mostly, every time will be fine. So just try to wing it. Don't, don't be afraid to wing it. So I just entered a, 
value, because it could have been high alpha acid or it could have been lower. So I entered 7.5% alpha acid, and according to this, that would give us 12.6 IBUs. So totally, but of course I don't have a clue, because I don't know about the, the no-name hops. Not sure is the name of the hops I entered here. So this would totally give us an IBU of 34, original gravity 1042, and final gravity 1011, and that would give us a... 4.2% beer. Mash wise, I mashed this at 64C for 60 minutes, then did a mash out at 76 and sparged it up to full volume as I always do and give it a 60 minute boil. And no hops were added until flame out. The only addition were some yeast nutrients and uh, some pruta flock at about 15 10 minutes left of the, the boil. So that's the the recipe, this was fermented under pressure, started at 20 C, 35 PSI, started ramping after two days active fermentation, ended at 25 C. So according to the, the calculator mentioned before, this would give us 2.7 volumes of CO2, which is quite high, but now I have been also, it's not super high of course for, for, uh, for lager, but now I've been stealing off some, so I actually it, it's almost time to like top this off with some more. But yeah, you can check the calculated video out. So I fermented this hot and I still used five bags of this because I, I usually aim for like a gram per liter. This was a little bit more than that. But if I would have like fermented this at lager temperature, I would have used double of that. So Looking at the prices compared to, to this, you have to compare the price with your re retailer, but you could save a lot of money. And of course, we can also reduce that yeast, so yeah. But yeah, stoked about trying the other ones out also. Putting out these videos takes a lot of time and effort, so a big thank you to all of you guys who are supporting me and if you want to support the, the channel and what I do here and maybe you want even more contact, there's Patreon and channel membership or just buy me a beer or links down below in the description. Cheers and thanks for watching, Dr. Hans out!